I found some of Bone Mob's greatest mods ever, and today I'll be showing all of them off in this very video. Now, just before we begin, I'd like to mention that every mod in this video is also available in the description below. To kick off this video, we have the school bus mod. If you've wanted a car mod that doesn't look like literal crap, then this bad boy is for you. Once you find the right map, this bus can be pretty entertaining. Whether you're picking up kids for school, or kidnapping kids, this bad boy works for all of it. I would recommend not installing a dash cam, however, as you may incriminate yourself. We don't want the cops called now, do we? Overall, this bus is a must-add to anybody's mod list. Now, the second mod we'll be showing off today is the Holy Giveable Guys mod. This is easily one of, if not the greatest, mod in Bone Lab. What this mod allows you to do is slice and dice your local school. What I meant to say is that you can finally slice off Ford's head, arms, legs, etc. But to make it even better, the dismemberment isn't just limited to Ford. This works on all NPCs in Bone Lab besides crablets and skeletons for hopefully obvious reasons. If you want more gore, then you better be heading to the store. So here we have a pretty entertaining vehicle, of course being the wheelchair. Yo, look at this. We got ourselves a wheelchair. I know, you can already think of hundreds of different fun things to do with this bad boy. Maybe you want to drive it yourself? We're driving. Whoa! Whoa! Or push a fork around that's in it. Maybe even fly forward in the wheelchair. It's really up to you. Bye, Ford. Oh, what's good? Moving on, we have Rexmex Weapon Pack. Unless you're living under a rock, you have definitely heard of this mod. Rexmex Weapon Pack is the best option for weapon mods out there, considering the extensive list of artillery included. Testing out a few of the weapons in this behemoth, we first have the good old AUG A3. Got that in, pull back, and we're ready to fire. Whoa. This unholy piece of art is absolutely insane in close combat. The ability to shred with this thing is incredible. The one and only Desert Eagle and Rexmex weapon pack is insane. Oh now this bad boy can pack a goddamn punch just like the planes on September 11th. The Desert Eagle has to be my personal favorite from the mod. I love this gun. Sounds great, it works great, I mean look at this. Boom! The way you can just hit a quick one-shot headshot just makes me feel all kinds of things. Finally for this mod, we have the classic M4A1. Remember when I said that the AUG could shred? Well compared to the M4A1, the AUG ain't shit no more. It shoots like hell, man. This thing is fast, this thing is speed itself. Paired with the larger mag and overall looks, this goddamn gun is perfect. There are a ton more guns in this mod, so if you liked any of the ones you already saw, that's just a small example of what's there, so you better go check it out. Rexmech really outdid himself with this mod. The way the guns work, feel, look, I mean there's just zero comparison. Either way, we gotta keep this video moving, so let's head to the next mod. And now is the King Air 350. Yo, what? This bad boy looks insane, man. There's a few plain mods that currently exist in Bone Lab, but this one has to be my favorite. Let alone that it's a freaking private jet, this plane is just awesome inside and out. We are flying a plane in Bone Lab. Think about that. It handles surprisingly well and the controls are pretty self-explanatory until you turn it off mid-air. No, no, no. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. No. 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 You should definitely check out this mod if you haven't already and want to see a plane in Bone Lab. Next up is Gary's Nextbots. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say everybody watching knows what a Nextbot is or at least has seen one before. These entities from Gary's mod will hunt you down and kill you almost instantly. To make it a little more interesting, you could run and hide in a building and hope they can't get in, until they do. Once they're in, they'll take your skin and throw you in the grave, so have fun up there with Uncle Dave. This mod is just awesome. Here we have the prawn suit from Subnautica. Oh, yeah. If you're a little baby Subnautica nerd, or at least was, like me, this mod is so cool to experience. Oh my forts. You basically just get to experience what it's like to be inside of a prawn suit as an avatar. There's multiple versions too, and you have toggleable lights. This is sick. Overall, if you're looking for a powerful big avatar to crush forward with, why not do it in style as a sick mech? <laughs> For a little change, we now have an absolute classic of a mod. This is the goddamn UH-60 Blackhawk. Alright, we got it in hover mode. 
We're gonna just kind of chill out up here. I might not want to go too far up there. So far, it's still the only 100% realistic flying vehicle I've ever seen, and it was made over a year ago. You have turrets, seats in the back, sliding doors, proper controls. I mean, it's just the best, man. If you for some reason don't already have it, get this mod right now. We're gonna make it. Yo! We did it! Why the helicopter? It's definitely a learning curve, but once you get it down, it's just so much fun. Back to back classics here, we have the Gravity Apollo. Let's go, I'm Superman. If you want something just to mess around with, this is the mod. The general basis of the Apollo is wherever the base goes, you go. Along with literally everything else. So basically, it just changes which direction gravity goes based off of the base of the Apollo. It's a very fun one that you can enjoy for hours if you've got the right mindset. For the final mod on this list, we have Life Lab. Life Lab is a partial code mod, partial non-code mod. This means there's multiple files that you'll need to get it working properly. However, once you do, Life Lab is a lifesaver. There's a bunch of different syringes with all different capabilities, like the Blade of Life, which can revive an NPC. He lives! The Blade of Petrification, which can completely freeze and immobilize an NPC. The Blade of Anti-Gravity, which can completely remove gravity for said NPC, and more. Really, really great mod. Would definitely recommend downloading this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, please, please, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year, so it would mean the world to me. Also, just a reminder that every mod in this video is in the description down below. Even if I didn't mention the mod in the video, it's still down there, so go check them all out. Thanks for everything, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that's come along the way with me as it means so much to me. Since October last year when Bone Up came out and I started making small videos on it, I had both gained and lost a part of my life. That sounds almost sad, but in reality I just kind of lost some free time. Why did I put Lamau at the end of that on the script? That doesn't make- what? I'm very grateful to those that actively seek out to watch my videos right when they come out, but I'm also kind of sorry because sometimes I just don't upload when I say I will. Either that, or I don't follow through with a project or video I teased or said I was working on. So anyways, if you watched all the way to the end of this, you a top G, my guy. Hopefully I'll see you guys again next Wednesday. Bye. Oh, and also be expecting some shorts to appear from this very video.